Okay, Cindy. So this is what I've done. You have the Chromecast device right there. And then what you need to do is you see this cord that's coming out of it? That needs to be plugged in to power. Like that. And then you'll see when it's ready, that white light on the side. Yep, and then you see we have the device connected to HBO. There's a shortcut on your desktop that says Chromecast. What are you using, Peter? On the, your desktop of your phone. And what you're going to do is you can double click that, and then it will say whether or not it wants to connect to that device. And you say yes. This is on the computer but you can see it on your phone as well or on your tablet and you'll see that it's called Chromecast 5166 and right now it says that it's connected if it says needs to be set up you just click on it and it will walk you through now in any application that you open that has sound or TV like YouTube um, or anything you'll see this icon. Just click on that icon and then what you'll see is this on your TV. So for example I have in Chrome this icon right here and if I click on that whatever I have in Chrome will appear there. Alright guys, so it is the moment you've been waiting for. We're doing the Chromecast review today, and I'm also announcing the winner for the Leap Motion. So the top rated comment to this video, whoever gets the most thumbs up, is going to get this Chromecast for free. And I'm going to send it to you. So, anyway guys, yeah, let's get started with this review. Hey Spicy, stand up. There you go. Alright. Alright, in true Geek Blog fashion, here we are on the sheets, unwrapping more products. We got some spicy hair in the way there. Anyway, Chromecast, the moment you guys have been waiting for. I can go ahead and open this thing right here, one-handed. I'm getting better at my one-handed openings. There we go. Flip it over. Nice little Chromecast logo. Opens like a book. It's very simple. No, uh... No real language barrier here. I mean, you can you can be uh, you know Japanese or something like that and figure this out. Although I'm sure if you're Japanese, it's already in your genetics. That's pretty racist. All right, so Chromecast. Here we go. It's actually pretty small. It feels feels kind of heavy for how big it is. It's got a little little heft to it. You notice there's a HDMI at one side. There's that nice plastic wrap. Oh yeah! That's my favorite part of any product review. I don't do these product reviews for you guys. I just do it so I can peel off the plastic. Alright, so yeah, we got a uh, micro USB at one side, a little button, <clears throat> uh, HDMI port, We've got the nice, uh, similar to the uh, Elite Motion packaging uh, here, we've got a little insert. We've got our USB wall wart adapter. A cable right here. I believe this is an extension HDMI. Yes, it is. I've got the tiniest little HDMI TV, so don't laugh at me too bad. Here's your power adapter and a little manual which, if you are a sissy, you will probably need the manual. There we go. Alright guys, so, I'm going to set this up on the littlest LCD display ever, and we'll meet you in the other room. Alright, here we are with the littlest LCD display ever. You see, I got the extension cable there, I had to give it a slight bend. I noticed it's a very stiff cable. And once it plugged into the HDMI, it automatically started blinking white there. So here is the actual display with uh, dusty fingerprints for size reference. So let me get this thing started up. Alright, so I've got the tripod set up in front of the uh, Google Chrome, or the uh, 
Google Chrome, the uh, Chromecast, and it says set me up and uh, gives me the name of the Chromecast and whatnot. And I've got my laptop right here with the trusty cat, Old Faithful, right here watching an episode of Hack 5. And I'm going to get it set up and uh, let you guys know how that goes. I'm going to be recording it from the tripod while I do it so that you can see what it involves. Um, there shouldn't be too much talking in this part, so I'm just going to, uh, yeah, just show you what what's what. So, so one thing that I didn't realize is that I'd have to use Chrome browser in order to uh, set up the uh, the Google uh, Chromecast. I guess I should have assumed that. Um, it showed me this page over here that said you need to be in a Chrome browser to get started. All right, so I finally got Chrome installed. I'm going to go to the setup. URL right there. Hopefully everything works out and I'll meet you guys on the other side. Alright, so uh, desktop was not working for Linux, so you might want to be on Windows or Mac whenever you do it. I've got the mobile app up here that I got in the Google Play App Store. It was called Chromecast. So you can download apps from the Play Store to cast to your Chromecast, and I'm just going to use YouTube real quick. And uh, let's see, I clicked that one, and it's connecting to my Chromecast. <clears throat> Alright, so everything is connected. We've got my settings right here. We've got the privacy settings right there. I'm not going to be sending anything. Uh, let's go back, and then we'll click YouTube. I believe I have the YouTube app. Okay, so with the new YouTube app here, which is terribly difficult to uh, to videotape. I'm just going down my list of subscriptions here and uh, I'm adding things to the uh, to the to the playlist so whenever I click on it it says that I can uh, oh she doesn't make it available on Chromecast oh well I hate you now okay so let me go down the list pick something and add it to the queue alright so now it's added to the queue you can see I got my little video playing in the corner here and I've got things in the queue. So I just picked some random things and I can go through and if I'm like, oh, I didn't want to actually see this, I can click that right there and remove and it is gone. So, uh, ooh, Tupac. Alright, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna hit play on that, watch that video, and you can see where everything is as far as playing and uh, there's well, only probably like a couple of seconds of lag you see, you noticed uh, I hit pause there to get that audio off of the TV, and uh, it lagged slightly. But there's also options like closed captioning and HD and stuff like that. Uh, let me back out of that. And, yeah, so it pretty much works like YouTube Remote did before, except it's a lot more um, a lot more intuitive. It's a lot easier. Before, the YouTube Remote, I don't know, it was just kind of crappy. But I like this. Uh, I like this device. You know, pretty much. The guy at Best Buy was pretty ecstatic about it. Uh, he asked what channel this was for. So if you're out there in YouTube, uh, Best Buy guy, what's up? So I'm loving the Chromecast, and it's a good thing that I don't have to see it go. I got three of them. I got one for me, I got one for the runner-up in the sticker competition, and I've got one for you. So leave a comment in the comments below. I'm going to come back Saturday next week. I don't know what the date is, but I'm going to be back, and I'm going to give the top-rated comment. Whoever, whoever has the top-rated comment is getting a free Chromecast. So good luck to you guys. Share, like, and subscribe. Be sure to put something in the comments, and tell your friends to come and give it a thumbs up so that you can get some free swag from Geek Blog TV. So, see you guys next time. Get inside the house. Get, get inside. Get inside or I'm taking away the catnip.